I say, a brand new client. Well, I should do for you what I do for all my beloved clients. Come on in, let's have a personal tour. Oh, let me take you to my desk. Now, this is something you ought not to see, really, because this is a secret. I'm just going to buff it on my boob quickly. I've had a little promotion. Senior client coordinator, be still now. Here is my personalized water mug. It's only Adam's Ale, nothing naughty. My gong, just in case anybody's terribly late. What else do we have here? My sofa beater, this is wonderful. I actually have three of these in my home. And if you have a dusty canapé, as Miles Nazaire would say, you can just think of someone you don't like very much and you can just go and get the dust up. Like that. Fantastic. And of course, a giant neon heart. Neon, if you want a little bit of etymology, simply means new, because it was a new gas when that word was coined. There we are. Hello. Come up with me. I'm going to show you the rest of the agency. So here we've got some past clients looking very dashing. We've got Pete Weeks here. Pete, I would rate out of 10, a seven. We've got Joey here. Look at him, looks very nice, doesn't he? I think I'd rate him about an eight. Now, Sam, I'd rate a solid two and a half. <laughs> I love picking on Sam. Oh, but he looks nice in his suit. Looks like he's on his way to a wedding or something. Further up, so we've got Jack. Jack is a good looking boy. He looks like the type of boy you'd take home to your mum, I think. Like he's like about a, a nine. Let's give him a nine. Lee looks like he's out of a, an 80s porno film. You know, like that blue steel. He's given me about five vibes. Five. All right, I'm gonna take you over to Anna and Paul's room where all the business goes down. They get down to the nitty gritty and figure out what us celebrities need to fix in order to find the right partner. Hello, welcome to the agency. Have you seen the door? Have you seen the door? Look, not just names in lights, names in bronze. Come into the agency. It's so nice to be back. This is the agency, the OG that everyone knows and loves. We want to have a jungle theme this year. There's a lot of foliage, as you will see. This is the desk, obviously, that Paul and I work behind. This is what it's like to be on the other side of a desk from Paul and I. Do you feel a little bit scared? Hmm, you do? Yeah, no, there's no need to. Come in! Hi! Hi. Hello. Hello. As soon as a celebrity comes in here, they just let it all out. I'm starting to cry. Really. They do. I mean, in more ways than one. Some of it, depending on who the celebrity is. Nikita, in big, pull that wedgie out. I haven't even got a thong on either. It's just knickers. It just keeps getting caught in the bum crack. That can go straight in the oversharing column. Honestly, they have challenged us more than any other series. They're picky little buggers. And I'm going to say it how it is. And if he's too much of a wet wipe, I can't be dealing with that anyway, so I prefer not to ever see him again if he's crying over the facts I think people in Brighton stink. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Although this time in the agency, a little bit of a, little bit of a sneaky peek goss, which I shouldn't really be telling you, but I'm going to tell you. We've added a new little component this year. Paul and I, we are looking for our most improved data. So we've got a bit of a competition. And it's actually making the celebrities really up their game. Because you, I'm going to surprise you, that's why. Are you? Yeah, man, trust us, watch us go. At the end of Celebs Go Dating, we'll be awarding our best data. And maybe our worst. Oh. Even these two have gone giddy. 